Jeez, <laughs> guys, how could I forget? This video series keeps growing. Reasons for being sick. Um, or getting sick as a Christian. I forgot one of the biggest ones. Um, again, you won't find this taught in a lot of modern churches, but a lot of modern churches here at the, kind of we're approaching the end chapters of the book, end of times, um, the modern churches are corrupted. Many of them, not all of them, many though. Um, and that's, that's a prophecy in the Bible. There will be many false Christs. That means false anointeds. Christ means anointed. There will be false prophets, false anointed ones, false teachings, lukewarm church, fakers. It's in the Bible, guys. It's happening. Anyway, um, you won't hear this taught in many churches, but it's the truth. Another cause of sickness is sin. Let that sink in. Like a good parent, God will lo loves you, but like a good parent, he knows sometimes the only way to get a kid to learn is to suffer the consequences of their mistake. Like else, a good, another good parent, he will usually bail you out after you've learned your lesson, but he's not going to bail you out if you don't learn your lesson. Anyway, sin can cause sickness. It's proven. It's a direct correlation. Um, it's not in every case of sickness, but sometimes, maybe at least as many as 50%, I would say, if not more, um, sin can cause sickness. Also, broken heart and other things that have happened to you in your life can as well. But anyway, for example, um, most of these, mm, what am I going to say? Like factoids, I suppose, or correlations that I'm going to say have come from a ministry called Be In Health. They're located in Georgia. Um, the book they're, they're, they write that I highly recommend you read is called A More Excellent Way, A More Excellent Way by Dr. Henry Wright. And they have a ministry in Georgia you can visit in person to get prayer. You can also get phone ministry. Um, they also have a sister ministry called Heart of Forgiveness that has permission to teach their materials. Uh, sister ministry is located in Texas, and they do teachings in kind of Texas, New Mexico area. They're branching out to other states, praise the Lord. Anyway, um, you can also call or visit in person to get prayer there. Both ministries, to my knowledge, are not for profit. Um, the money they ask for the fees is literally just to cover the expense of hosting these events. You know, rent money, hotel money, food money, gas money. Like, they don't make a profit on this stuff, guys. They just ask for money to cover their expenses. Um, the Georgia ministry is bigger, so they have more expenses, like staff and whatnot. But anyway, um, the good news is that they also have scholarships if you can't afford it all the way. So that's good. And if you're supposed to go and you pray and ask the Lord, I've heard many testimonies of him financially making a way. Anyways, um, Dr. Henry Wright says that the Lord revealed to him that sin can cause sickness. And, um, it can. I've seen miracles happen just by repenting of things. And being health in Georgia sees many people healed of cancer and many just supernatural divine miracles, like people who are on their deathbed get better. It's pretty cool. And I've met some of those people, so I know it's real. Anyway, um, and I can't, I haven't been to Georgia myself. I've only been to the ministry in Texas, but I've been to conferences that they, they do around the United States, and I'd say most of the material is pretty solid. I can't speak for the ministry a thousand percent because I haven't been there myself, so use discernment and prayer when you go or if you go, but a lot of it's solid. Anyway, um, so they have shown that they, they just spent years studying diseases and <laughs> correlating people's lives, and they started noticing patterns like, hey, people with this disease had this sin, and people with this disease had this sin. Um, a really common, easy to understand one is autoimmune diseases. In an autoimmune disease, a person's immune system attacks their own body. Usually the immune system attacks foreign invaders to protect their body. They're like, oh, a bad guy, let's attack him, and that's how you don't get sick. In an autoimmune disorder, the immune system attacks its own cells and accidentally thinks its own cells are uh, enemies. What sin could cause that, guys? Let's see, the Bible says, love others as you love yourself. You're worthy of love, just as much as everyone else on this planet. Now love God above yourself. God goes above, but love yourself as you love others. Love yourself. Don't be selfish. Don't be greedy. Don't love yourself more than others, but equal to others, yes. Anyway, um, self-hate 
causes autoimmune diseases. So if you're constantly telling yourself you hate yourself, you hate yourself, you hate yourself, what's going to happen? Your body's going to start listening and attacking itself. And then you get an autoimmune disease. Um, and some of it is the individual's like responsibility. Some of it, a person could have been abused in their childhood and kind of gained that, in which case they have to forgive the abuser, renounce the self-hate, tell this demon of self-hate to leave. Anyway, so autoimmune diseases are sometimes self-hate. Um, let's see. Another one, um, porn, porn's a sin, guys, can cause liver problems. Um, not all the time, but it, there's a correlation between watching porn as a sin and getting liver problems. What else? Um, unforgiveness can cause certain cancers. Um, I think sexual sins cause prostate cancer is one I heard. Again, I can't say it's absolute 100%, but it's definitely a correlation. Sexual sin can cause prostate cancer, which makes sense. Like, these these make sense. God is a poetic God. Like, it's not like they're like, oh, like, that's not related. That's obviously related. Like, you get cancer in your genitals. Anyway, um, what else? Um, uh, unforgiveness at female relatives has been linked to breast cancer. Um, again, I can't say it's a hundred percent, but there's definitely a strong correlation. Some people get healed by forgiving females and then their breast cancer goes away. Um, and I'm not trying to judge. We all sin. I have an aunt who, she had breast cancer, and she's the one who taught me the breast cancer unforgiveness thing. She's not ashamed. Um, every now and then you will never find the spiritual root. Either there's not one, or it's buried so deep you don't find it, in which case you say, thank you, Lord, for doctors. Um, nothing wrong with going to a doctor. They're a gift from the Lord. But the medical system's pretty corrupt and it's kind of dangerous to go to doctors sometimes, so use some discernment. Any hoozles, um, that's just a few of the ones I remember off the top of my head. Um, oh yeah, another one, um, in Proverbs it says, a broken heart doeth good like, no, a merry heart doeth good like a medicine, and a broken heart drieth up the bones. Bones, how do you dry up bones? Bone marrow. Your immune system's in your bone marrow. So a broken heart literally can hurt your bone marrow and literally make you sick. And it causes a whole host of diseases. Uh, not in, like I said, not an absolute, not in every case, but in a lot of cases it can. And so, yeah, um, I highly recommend you check that ministry out. Um, as with any ministry on earth, they're human and they can make mistakes. So take everything to the Lord in prayer and run it through the Bible. If it doesn't match the Bible, you don't listen, okay? Um, but sometimes, you know, you gotta, if, like, eat a steak and spit out the bones. Like, everything might have a little bones, but there's good meat still. Um, yeah, so another cause of sickness, there you have it, is your own free will with sin. Sin can cause sickness. It's a spiritual law of physics, guys. Like, God is an orderly God. It's not like these things don't happen for a reason. He has order and design, and everything we see in the physical world is mirrored in the spiritual world. Cause and effect, guys. Um, some people call it karma. I call it godma. <laughs> karma is a faceless, nameless being that is everywhere. That's not what karma is, but or there's not what that's not that's what karma is, but it's not what exists. But God does exist, and He's a fair God who created. Laws of physics in the physical and spiritual world, and cause and effect. Sin has consequences. Um, yeah, so that's also one. Maybe someday I'll do a video on the spiritual roots I know about for the medical stuff I struggle with. Um, I would like to be healed first, just so I can know for sure those were the spiritual roots. But I definitely have noticed some correlations between patients in the support group, and we all have similar things in our childhood, a lot of us. So there's definitely links, at least. Um, it's a complicated thing. There's probably more than one factor in getting a complex illness. So yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. And it's scientifically proven, guys. Epigenetics. Go Google it. Science proves the Bible. Um, epigenetics states that 
genes can turn on and off. Just because you have a gene doesn't mean you're doomed to get that disorder. Like, let's say celiac runs in your family. You might have a gene more prone to celiac, but it might be turned off. So you're not doomed to get celiac, but what if you have a traumatic life event happen and then the gene turns on and then you get celiac? That's what epigenetics is. Um, it's a scientific field of study. It's perfectly proven. The Bible backs it up, um, or it backs up the Bible. So uh, it's very real, guys. So that's another thing. Um, if you're struggling with a sickness, sometimes there's a spiritual root. Sometimes it's sin. Sometimes it's a broken heart. Things like that. Take it to the Lord. Pray about it. He knows. He was there when it happened. If you were a baby and you don't remember, he was there and he remembers. So ask him. And, uh, yeah. Thanks so much, guys. You have a good day. Bye-bye.